Dad drove a truck for most of my life, and I remember traveling with him, and when I became 18, I got my permit and drove with him for several, several years. I didn't think I would ever drive anymore without him. I lost him last November. Lindsay Hankins, I'm the CDL instructor. I'm the first female instructor of SLTC. My day-to-day -day role would be students come, we get eight different faces every day. They are gonna learn everything about a vehicle inspection, everything about backing maneuvers. We teach them a complete full truck inspection. So they have to know how to do everything by the time they get there to test. So no matter what's randomly drawn, they're prepared and ready to do it. I was previously a certified state examiner through the Georgia Department of Driver Services. There were several women that, that were CDL examiners, worked at CDL centers, and people tried their best on the daily basis to make us feel inferior because we were women. Everybody that ever had an issue with something to do with CDL, they always wanted to speak to a male. Let me speak to your manager, where is he? versus SLTC, everybody was so welcoming. They've never made me feel like I was in a male-dominated industry. Don't let things hold you back just because you're a female and people that you're gonna be working with or around or not. That's not an excuse. If this is what you wanna do, don't let anything or anybody stop you. You do what it takes, you put in the work, you put forth the effort, there again, you always do your best to make sure that you're top notch. You do your best to make sure that your people that are around you are top notch. You just do it.